Okay, so this is question one. It says, given a function y1, function y1, as a solution of the differential equation. Now you're told to use the reduction of order. If you use this method, find a second solution y2 of x. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to start by finding, um, starting by solving for a. Now for a, we have we're given that y prime prime plus 9y equals 0 and then we are told that um, y1 equals sine sine of 3x now I want to find y2 now the y2 we want to find has to be linearly independent to y1 so in other words we want to find y2 so for it to be linearly independent then we assume y2 is a multiple of of y1 but at this stance the u here is not a constant it's a function of x now how then do we find so if we are assuming that y2 is a solution of the differential equation it implies that it must satisfy the differential equation so let's check so since we have our y2 to be equal to u times y1 and which is equal to u times our y1 is sine of 3x then y2 prime that will be a derivative of u sine of 3x plus u times the derivative of sine 3x is um, 3 cosine of 3x. That's what we have for that. Now the next is we want to find y prime prime. So y to prime prime equals derivative of u prime u prime prime sine of 3x plus u prime and derivative of sine of 3x that is 3 cosine of 3x plus then u prime so you have to be very careful when you're trying to do um, the derivative area here then plus u times derivative of 3 cosine of 3x and that will be minus 9 sine sine of 3x so this is what we have for this and then when we simplify this you have u prime prime sine of 3x then u prime plus u prime this is going to give us 2u prime which is going to be 6u prime cosine of 3x minus 9u sine sine of 3x so this is what we have for our y2 prime prime so we're going to substitute y2 prime prime into this differential equation so we're going to use so we want to use y2 prime prime and y2 into here and here so we'll make the substitution so making the substitution what we'll have is going to be we have u prime prime sine of 3x plus 6u 6u prime cosine of 3x minus 9u sine of 3x then plus plus 9, 9 times y, our y is y2, which is u sine 3x, so 9 times u sine of sine of 3x, so this is what we have, and this equals, equals 0, so when we simplify this, so you'd observe that this and this, they cross out, so you're left with u prime prime sine of 3x plus 6u prime cosine of 3x equals 0. So this is what we have. Now, but our aim is to reduce this differential equation to a first, it's a second order differential equation, but our aim is to reduce it to a first order. But then, even after the substitution, we still have the second derivative here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make a substitution. We're going to say let, let u prime let's u prime equals w then this implies u prime prime be w prime so we'll make this substitution here so it says u prime prime equals w prime so this is going to be w prime sine of 3x plus so our u prime is w now so it's going to be 6 6 w cosine of 3x equals 0 so if you look closely this is very similar to so writing this is like saying dw dx sine of 3x plus 6w 
cosine of 3x equals 0. So we want to solve we want to solve this. And then we know that to solve a first order differential equation like this, the first step you do is rewrite this whole thing here in standard form. So to write in standard form implies that the coefficient of the highest derivative, which is the w dx, must be 1. So I'm going to divide both sides by sine 3x. So we divide by sine 3x, divide by sine 3x, and then you divide here too by, by sine 3x. So when we make the division, so this is what we have, we have, so this crosses out, and then we now have the w dx, so plus 6 cosine of 3x all over sine of 3x w equals equals 0 so, and then from from our from our knowledge past if solve something like this we know the integrating factor is going to be so the integrating factor is going to be e integral of of what we have here the integral of this that is what we have here so that's going to be 6 cosine of 3x divided by sine of 3x dx so this is the same thing as e integral of so what we have here is sine of 3x when we find derivative of sine of 3x we have 3 cosine of 3x so for this to be equal to this we we'll multiply here by 2 and then we have the same thing so since the derivative of this gives us this it implies that the integral of that is going to be 2 integral of sine of 3x so which is the same thing as e ln of sine of 3x all squared so that's what it means so this is what we have so and then this is going to give us sine squared of 3x so this is going to be our integrating factor so we're going to multiply both sides of this differential equation by sine squared of 3x so i'm multiplying both sides of this this d by sine squared of 3x we obtain sine squared of 3x times the w dx plus so sine squared of 3x times sine 3x crosses one out so we have 6 cosine of 3x sine of 3x times w equals equals 0 <coughs> And then this is the same thing as ddx of w sine squared sine squared of 3x equals 0. So this is what we finally come up with. So let's write that here. So we have ddx of w sine squared of 3x equals 0. So this is what we have. And then when we integrate both sides, so this we're going to have w sine squared w sine squared of 3x equals an arbitrary constant because this is um, this is zero so this is the same thing as w equals c1 divided by sine squared of 3x which is equal to c1 so 1 all over sine is cosec is cosec so 1 over sine squared is going to be cosec squared so that's cosec squared of 3x so we recall that we are not told to find our aim is not to find w our aim is to find is to find u itself we want to find we want to find u but then w equals u prime so in place of w i'm going to write u prime so i have w here so i'm going to write u prime so which is du dx equals so we have c1 cos x squared of 3x so to find u so u is going to be the integral of c1 cos x squared of 3x dx so which is actually equal to c1 so when you integrate cos x squared of 3x you have minus cot 3x then divided by the derivative of that divided by 3 plus 
an arbitrary constant here. So what you have as your final is going to be minus C1 cot of 3x divided by 3 plus C2. So this is what we have. So but then our aim is to find, <clears throat> according to what the solution says, this is find a second solution. So we just need just one, just a single solution. That's all we need. So since my y equals u sine of 3x, so I'm going to write that down. So my y2, based on what we have there, y2 equals u sine of 3x. This is what we want to find. And then we know that u equals this. So since I know just for a particular, I'm just finding a single y2 that's a single second, second solution because this is infinite. So you could just make a substitution here. Any number works. So but now I'm going to choose let my c1 equals 3 and my c2 equals 0. So if c1 equals 3 and c2 equals 0, then u, u is going to be cut of 3x. So I'm going to write cut of 3x here. So it's going to be cut of 3x times sine of 3x. Now cut of 3x is the same thing as cosine of 3x divided by sine of 3x. So when you multiply by that with uh, by sine of 3x, so this crosses out. So we have y2 equals cosine of 3x. So this is a valid second solution that would complement the y1 that we're given so that the two of them will be linearly independent solutions of, of the differential equation we're given.